If you're going to listen to your inner voice, you will see that Hashem is keep on supporting you and building you and loving you and reveal His love and His mercy on you and gives you so many things and, and, and spoils you, spoils you and, and, and wrap you with love. With all the difficulties, and even in time of difficulties, and even in the hardest times, times of crisis, that you don't have a clue what advice and what you're going to do with yourself, and how to get out of this situation. Also in those moments, when you're going to look back, you're going to see that Hashem Barach, He gave you wisdom and humility in those hours that you wouldn't achieve in million years of success. And those points are the vessels to contain the wisdom of, of Hashem, really to understand the will of Hashem. Because if you went through a holocaust in your life, if you went through a very hard time in your life, crazy divorce, Hasar Shalom, people lost family members, lost their job, had to sell their houses, were very sick, whatever, it humiliated you. It broke you to pieces. Now, you're so humble that you can understand why people are struggling. And you can dedicate from your time to other people. And you can understand why people cannot focus and cannot learn. And, and, and then you become Rahman. You become mercy, merciful. You care because you understand the situation. And if Hashem wouldn't put you in that situation, in that difficulty, you would never understand. Oh, he's not learning, so you disqualified him. Oh, he's not learning, let's disqualify him. He doesn't have money, let's disqualify him. You can understand how you can lose all of your money and not to have no ability to learn, even if you want to learn. And Hashem can take your will to learn. And Hashem can do whatever He wants with you. So you can understand that a person can find himself lost and confused and empty, but he's a pure soul. He's got amazing intentions. And you can just jealous and, and, and be envious why you're not like Him. Because He's so amazing and He's so beautiful and He's so great. And, and I wish that I would be so humble and I wish that I would be so kind and I wish that I would be so polite and so generous and, 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 and he doesn't have no money. And you can be so rich and, and cheap and he will be so poor and so generous and will host you and bring you into his house and will bless you and will feed you and he doesn't have what to give and that maximum cream cheese and crackers, amazing. And, 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 and it's going to be so delicious. Why? Because he gave his heart. And you can appreciate that. But the main thing is not to think about Him. It's to think about yourself. To judge yourself favorably. To find your own path in life. To understand that who that you are, it's exactly who that Hashem wanted you to be. And your lackings are not lackings at all. It's the armor. That's your skin. That it might be an elephant skin that Hashem is protecting you with. This is your talent, this is your power, this is your, your weapon, this is your, your, your tools of art, this is how you can create, this is how you can pass the message through techn technology, through art, through music, through whatever you do, through simple conversation in the garage with that poor guy. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator. To remember that it's all deep, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.